Today we're checking out a custom project we worked on for a mobile command center. Now because this trailer has some additional height, we went with a .040 thickness on the exterior skin. That eliminates the wavy look you see on a lot of other trailers. You see a stone guard up in the front, 7 inch lower trim that's riveted on, and a 4 inch upper trim as well. Now moving down the side of the trailer, you can see we have these custom steps. So we have a pull out step you see on a lot of our other trailers, but due to the height of this trailer, you can see the door which is, by the way, a nice piano-hinged RV side door. Do the hold back there. Uh, to get into the trailer, instead of climbing in or jumping in, we have this custom built-in step here. So there's a handle here and step. So that's actually how you get in to this trailer due to the height that you see here. Now on the exterior, you can see we've got a nice 12 volt LED spotlight on the outside. We've got a couple of slider windows, tinted windows, sliders with screens, allows for some nice ventilation. Spread axle designs, you've got an eight inch spread. It displaces the weight, makes it for an easier pulling trailer, not to mention it looks really nice. And we're able to trim out in between the fenders here. We've got these nice fenderettes as well. Now this door that you see on the, the end here, there's one here, one on the back side, and this is access to what we call the basement. In the very rear of the trailer, we've surrounded the trailer with LED lights. So the entire exterior is 12 volt LED lights, and those encompass your spotlight on the side, as well as your clearance lights, marker lights, turn signals, so on and so forth. Uh, another window here in the rear, and another access panel to that basement that we'll talk about here uh, in a few moments. So I'll explain why we raised the deck height to do that. But you have nice storage underneath here to access. On the driver's side of the trailer, this is the utility section of the trailer where we've got all the business. On the driver's side of the trailer, on the driver's side of the trailer is the utility end, which we'll talk about in detail here. This first compartment door houses your propane tanks that run the furnace on the inside of the trailer. Next, we have a 7kW or 7 kilowatt Onan generator, which is the powerhouse for the rest of the trailer on the inside. Down low, you've got your water dump valves uh, for your black water tank and your fresh water tank, and you've got your uh, generator exhaust here as well. More storage to that basement. So your floor on the inside of the trailer is about at this level here. So you've got tons of storage underneath the trailer, comes in super handy. You've got your water hookups and connections here as well as a gasoline fill down here. Here's a good look at the slide out that's fully extended on the outside of the trailer. Now this distance here is what makes it wider on the inside of the trailer, giving you this much more space inside. We've also got some receptacles uh, to boot along the walls and spread out throughout the outside of the trailer. So this is what the inside of the trailer looks like when the slide out is fully inside. So you've got this much room to work with, coin rubber flooring on the floor, you've got aluminum walls, aluminum ceiling with insulation behind the walls and the ceiling. We've also got electrical plugs uh, throughout the trailer as well. All the lighting on the inside here is 12 volt, run off of a battery uh, that we've got inside of a cabinet uh, that we'll take a look at here in just a moment. These two vents here, these are the ducted furnace vents along the wall. Now here's another look at that interior floor space with the slide out fully extended out. So it gives you much more usable space on the inside of the trailer. The reason we have a basement underneath the trailer is to give us a complete flat floor design. So the only way that a slide out will provide you with a completely flat floor on the inside is to have a space for the slide out to drop down into. Otherwise there'd be a step, a lip on the inside here. Uh, so the slide out actually extends out and drops down to give you a completely flat floor. You put a bank of cabinets overhead and base cabinets uh, in the slide out as well as a 12 volt LED light and a 110 volt receptacle. In the rear here, we've got a couple of computer workstations. So just nice countertop space, receptacle up here, and you can bring a chair in, laptop, and set up and have a viewing window uh, and plenty of natural light uh, throughout the trailer. Now in the front of the trailer, we've got more nice countertop space with, again, more natural light throughout with these uh, slider windows we've got. We've got nice cabinet space here on the inside. You can see our battery bank, got two 12 volt deep cycle batteries as well as our switchover box and uh, breaker box that run the electrical components here. The switch panel up on the wall 
This is actually where our slide out mechanism runs off of as well as our generator startup. So I'm just going to start the generator up so you can hear how loud it isn't. So the generator is running right now. It's a nice quiet generator setup and it won't bother you when you're inside the trailer. The very front of the trailer we have our uh, water tank monitor panel as well as our thermostat. Inside this door we have what we call our S2 bathroom package. So we've got a toilet, a sink, and nice cabinetry to boot on the inside. One last note on our mobile command center is the V-nose starts up in this section here. So we've tucked the bathroom away inside this V-nose so it allows us to have as much usable floor space as possible. So that about does it for our mobile command center.